Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be going over how to set up automatic replies for your Outlook email address. Before I begin, give this video a like, show me some love, comment down below if you have any questions, and if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Before I officially begin, I just wanna go over the contest that I'll be holding once I hit 500 subscribers. I'm about 427, 428 at the timing of this video. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway of an Amazon gift card to somebody. All you have to do to enter is one, be subscribed to my channel and comment down below on if you are subscribed. I know a lot of my subscribers are subscribed, but I can't see their channel because it's private. So let me know if you're subscribed and, and obviously definitely subscribe and then you'll be entered into the contest. So once I hit that 500 subscribers, I'll do a randomizer or raffle or whatever you want to call it, and I'll pick out the winner of a Amazon gift card. So that's happening soon. And uh, But yeah, so let's just jump right into today's video on how to set up automatic replies for your Outlook email address. I want you to go to Outlook.com if you have an Outlook email address. Sign in for me. Okay, sign in for me. And... Make sure that you are in the email part of Outlook. Email part of Outlook. You're, make sure you are in Outlook. I'm about to say, make sure you're not in Office. So make sure you're not in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, none of that. Make sure you're in Outlook. Now, automatic replies are good. So maybe if you are sick, maybe you're on vacation, maybe you left for the day, uh, these replies are good. So if somebody emails you, they'll get a kickback saying, hey, you know, I'm gone for the day or I'm busy or on vacation, um, please don't contact me or whatever. Don't, don't make it rude, but make it professional. If you work for somebody, if you work at a school or work at a business and you have an Alec email address, just make it professional and just say, hey, I'm not here right now. In case of an emergency, please contact, you know, blah, blah, blah. So once you're in your Outlook uh, portion, click on the settings gear at the top right hand corner and just type in auto. From here, click on automatic replies. All right, so here the automatic replies uh, window pops up. Make sure this button is ticked on. You'll know it's on it when it turns blue. Make sure this box is checked. Send replies only during a time period. So we can start our automatic email from today's date at eight o'clock, which is it's past eight o'clock, but you get the gist. Uh, so we can end it tomorrow at eight o'clock. So anytime somebody emails me between today at eight to tomorrow at eight, they'll get the message that I can type up down here in this box. I just put a little demo uh, demonstration here. It says, I'm away, don't bother me. Don't be so rude about it, uh, especially if you work for a business, make it professional. Um, just say, you know, Unfortunately, I, I, I'm not here today, I'm sick, I'm on vacation. Whatever the case may be, type it in the box. I am away. So do that, and once you're done, hit save for me. And that's pretty much it. Once it's saved, you can close out. You can also tick this box to send replies only to contacts. Now. If you work for a business, you can just leave this disabled because everyone's in the same organizational unit, so to speak. Um, so I guess this would only be for maybe if you had a personal email and you had a list of contact people. So that would be what that's for. So click off of that. So yeah, that was how to set up automatic replies for your Outlook email address. Hopefully it helped. Give it a like. Comment down below if you want to be entered into that contest. Amazon gift card. You know you want it, enter that contest, let me know if you subscribed. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.